Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I'd share just an idea or a tip that might be helpful to you. I happen to be cleaning my stash, my room, and I happened to find a Ziploc baggie that had a bunch of pages that I had printed several years ago, probably 2017, that were printed on a laser printer back when I couldn't do edge to edge. So it had a white edge all the way around that I trimmed off. And today I thought, you know, I want to add something to this because it's shorter than eight and a half by 11. I have already added some decoration to the other side. These were just one sided prints because it was a laser printer, it was expensive. So I had lines on the back side, and then I used the, I think this is connected flowers. I'm not positive, but I think that's a connected flower stencil. And I used some. Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Golden Orange and sprayed that. And I thought what I would do is add a decorative element to the edge. And how am I going to do that? I happen to have some paper punches. Now, these are some that I picked up a long time ago. This one happens to be Recollections. I think I have one here that's from Martha Stewart. So this would be Michael's. You know, I, I pick them up when they're on sale. I've had some given to me. You can look online. Sometimes you'll find them in a lot that people are getting rid of on say like eBay or something. So I have some cardstock here and what I'm going to do is use the guide. So if you didn't know that these punches have a little guide, I'll kind of zoom in so you can see it a little better. So I'm going to line up this piece of paper and I kind of look at the back side so I know that it lines up pretty much right where it says. So I'm going to start with my paper just inside that line. And I have it facing this way so that I can push the lever a little bit easier. So I'm lining it up and then I'm just going to push that lever and then I will slide this over until it matches up with the pattern over here on the side. And you can go left to right, right to left, depending on what you like to do. I use my left hand to punch, so they I end up sliding it to the left. It seems to work better for me. I'm just going to go down the line and punch this whole strip. Once I have a strip made, we're going to trim it. And I find that I'll just trim it. Oh, it's not quite a half an inch because I don't want to have much of a back end on this is what I'm going to say. So this is probably close to a half inch on here, maybe a little bit over. And I'm just using my Fiskars rotary cutter. And of course, I didn't press hard enough because we're on camera. So I'm going to use my scissors to trim it. And then I'll make two of these. So I'm just going to grab two of them. And I'm going to use my Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And I'll go over the edge here just a little bit. And I'll do both sides. I don't need to do this edge because it's going to be glued down. But I did want to do that leading edge where the, the lace look is. Once I have that done, I'll take my glue and make a little bead just right on the edge all the way down. Try not to get my piece in it before I'm ready. And then this is the side that I want to glue down. So I'm going to flip it over and then line it up with the edge. And then I'll flip this around and do it on the other side. So again, I want to make sure that this side that didn't get embellished with distress ink is glued down. And then I will trim off the excess here and see how cute that is starting to look on there. But wait, there's more. I'm going to take a different one and we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch. I'm over at my little sewing machine. It's an electronic machine that I've had. I think I got it in 2014, 2015. It is a brother. I don't even think they make this model anymore, but I really like this machine. It is set on a zigzag stitch and I have it set on two and twos for the stitch length and width. I'm using black thread in my upper and lower. I just use regular thread that you pick up at the store for sewing. I have a regular needle in the sewing machine and I find that as long as the glue is dry on my project, I can sew through paper and fabric and more for my junk journals. So I'm just going to line this up in my machine 
And then I'm going to stitch down this edge. I decided to stitch on the, the printed side because I want to line it up right with the edge of the paper. When I get to the end, I'll just cut the thread. I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. And now I've sewn down that edge. So I took what was a page that didn't have any decorative element and I added that. And then I'll show you what it looks like without the stitches. So you kind of get the different look here. And again, the reason why I did that is the rest of my pages that I will be using in my journal are eight and a half by 11. And when I put these beside it, they were a little bit shorter, but now that I've added the stitches, in fact, they stick out just a little bit further, but that's okay. I like that decorative touch to them. Well, I hope you enjoyed just another way of using maybe some of the things you already have, punches, to make a lacy edge, especially if you don't have lace, or lace can be expensive. An idea for you, if you don't have the color of cardstock that you want to use, but you have white or ivory, we'll color it, paint it with acrylic paint, paint it with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. You have lots of options, so don't feel like you have to have every color of the rainbow. If you have paint or tattered angels you can alter it all right everybody thank you so much for watching hey i go live on mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time where i show tutorials on making journal pages elements and etc do give this video a thumbs up share it with your friend comment below if you have any comments or questions and hey check me out on facebook at linda israel also my group friendly junk journal people and we have a great group of people in there that love to share all right everybody have a fabulous day bye